with the labels by way of the advertising in the magazine. So oh. I, I was in those labels on the regular basis, like to the point where a lot of people thought like I worked at Def Jam, they used to see me in Def Jam so much. And I got to see how that business works. I was like, I'm gonna hurt somebody, that's a fact. Oh, okay, you can't do it, okay. Yeah, that's I can't do it. These people will say anything and they'll have you leverage yourself on something they know is bullshit. And, and, and you know, could completely collapse you if, if you if you're so inclined to trust them that much. Okay. Right? And like they just had no integrity. By and large, they had no integrity. You know what I mean? Like some people I did have interactions with that uh, I would say had integrity, get, showed integrity in those interactions. I've heard other people say, you know, give stories about them that was like definitely not on, up, on the up and up. But the business we did together was good. You know what I mean? Okay. But overall, no. That, yeah, that industry, for you. those people, mm-mm. No. I said, I'm definitely going to do something to somebody. For sure, for sure. These people are terrible. <laughs> And that's Oscar. Robert. Shout out to Jeff Dixon. Jeff Dixon is the one that helped so, me to understand, so I didn't, you know, end up being um, the boogeyman. So, so I'm gonna say about Ron. Ron is my brother. We might have shown on some different shit. Ron from Queens. I've been in this shit for years. I know. I end our progress. Ron loves me. He's loyal to me. I'm not naming no names. So somebody called Ron one day. Ron put something out. Yo, man, you playing yourself? I have to calm this nigga down. He don't know nothing. Is it? Come to my crib. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Mm-hmm. I said, nigga, that's not what you're going to do with this. You have to, the rap industry, my life, yeah. it's different, Ron. Yeah. It's different And mental. they think you, they think you they know. Think, they think they know, then when they, and then when they so, see you're not playing with you, they're like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah. I and picked the, the wrong motherfucker. Let me tell you something, bro. Exactly. The word spreads very quickly. Very, very quickly. And it go, it go for Ron, nobody know Ron. Ron is quiet. Ron, nobody yeah. know Ron. I mean, yeah, Ron. The high. word will spread, it'll I mean, spread. Ron. It'll Ron spread real fast. fast. I just got what he said. You, you heard him. Ron, 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 you heard him. I made Ron hot. My two brothers, Frankito and Ronito, that's my tutelage. They hot because I'm big G. They love me, though. They take care of me. They love me. Now, going forward. <laughs> what the hell happened with you and Gully TV? Yo, what the hell? Man, listen. <laughs> uh, maybe y'all can tell me. Wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. That's you, Ron. And that question. Yes, you, that's you. Like, it's all formed. Gully did the same thing with Haitian Jack. He got nothing with Gully. I got him like his platform. But he did the same thing with Haitian Jack. He did a thing with Haitian Jack. So, and they wasn't cool. So some WWF shit. Hold on, your bullshit. Easy. What happened with Gully TV? I don't know what you're doing. Bro, I don't I mean, know this nigga. Ooh. I don't know him. You don't even know <laughs> So a nigga that's mad that even know you? I don't know him. Well, that's terrible. Bro, the nigga walked into my man Wop's juice bar with my, my dude, um, Mark, right? Um, Mark was one of the hitmen back in the days for Puffy's joint, right? Little rascals. So, yeah, they don't know about that. Yeah, they don't know about that. They, they, they whoop a snapper. So long, Krabby. Um, so. Just a long, Krabby. <laughs> 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 you're you, oh, you like, damn, man. You're older than me. You know your shit. Go ahead, man. Yo, you how racist I was with a buckwheat? <laughs> yeah. We didn't realize yeah, how. I mean, no. they used to, that was super, we didn't know. I don't know why our parents were thinking. Super racist. Yeah. I don't know how our parents were Yo, turn your phones off, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's downstairs. Yo, right there, Frankie, though. Grab the phone right there, right there. Yeah, look at So, that. all right. He walks in. Mark walks up and says, Yo, yo, Cavario, man, my man here got like this YouTube channel and he really wants to interview you. So, I had just gotten another print run of this back um, like maybe two days before. Okay. So I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I, 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 what's up? You know, was, oh, man, I'm Gully, man. And you know, and I said, oh, that's what's up. But I had never heard of this person before. You don't know who this brother is? Nope, never that's heard of him. That's crazy. Right? So uh, I did it because Mark, Mark, you know, asked me to do it. Right? So the dude, the dude, the dude, the dude says, uh, oh man, man, I've been a, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank I've been a fan, I've been a fan of your work, man, for a long time, man. And, um, you know, I'm the new you, you know, and I was like, oh, is that right? Okay, you the new me. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm still me, but you're the new me. Okay. But, uh, and, you know, things like that tell you things about people. Like, hold on, hold on. You gonna hear what? What do you mean, as far as writing Okay, okay. Let me make sure you ain't no gun, nigga. I don't play that shit. No, nah, not that one either. That's your man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I make sure, hey, baby. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, come nah, here. Are you good? We family, family, family. What up, y'all? Go drink, go drink. All right, baby, I'm wrong. Fuck going on here. Ronito. 
fuck going on here. All right, let's this go. This is good. This so, is good. No, 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 no
uh, crack came out and rap came out and all of a sudden everybody could afford to buy, you know, this, that and the other and they started dressing like it. You couldn't tell the difference between one and the other. Uh, you know, these rules don't apply to these people. And that's one of the things I had to learn, which is one of the reasons why I never got into the music business before. Okay. Right? I had to learn that those rules don't apply in that world. Even though they, I told the Supreme. So I actually told the Supreme. If you dress better than somebody by far and from Queens, how do you tell them that without breaking their feelings? I mean, you don't. Because I dress <laughs> so much better than him. And he wants to battle me all the time. Look and I've demolished him. I've demolished him right day after day. Look at those weird shoes. Somebody zoom in. Uh, anyway, anyway, moving along. The Big Face Gary <laughs> Show. So, uh, okay, so right. boom. So boom, right? So with, um, with, with this guy, you know, he, he does that in that first video. And I'm like, I'm cool. Like, it's no issue, whatever, whatever. But I don't think that we mesh. I'm pretty certain we, we don't mesh because you don't know enough to know better than to do the things you're doing. That means you're not at that point where you and I should be meshing. That's all that means. You know what I mean? So you don't know. So, so, don't know. so no. So after that, I see another video and it's him talking about me for like an hour and a half. That's crazy. Right. And, and saying wonderful things, great things, wonderful things. Right. And then at some point, this is me putting this together, and, and, and actually a lot putting together, because I've never thought about this. Like, I, I've never seen a single video he's ever done. After that video, we talked about me for an hour and a half, like he was praising me and all that, and I got book sales and everything from it. You know what I mean? Um, af after that, then anything else he ever made after that, I've never seen. People call me and say, yo, who, yo, who is this gully motherfucker? Yo, where this nigga at with it? I say, you want me to? No, I don't want you to do shit. Because if he's saying my name all over the fucking place, and you want y'all go do something to him. You're going to jail. Who the fuck are they going to come talk to? Don't, well, don't, yeah, I went on don't, a rant about saying that you said you had witnessed Buster Rhymes get robbed or something like that. It's a fucking lie. Oh, that's another thing. That's another thing. That's a fucking lie. I never told him I witnessed a fucking thing. You would think, in fact, I don't know. I think that was, that was in the first interaction we had. So uh, he would have video of that. It was, wow. the, it was the video of me saying I witnessed anything. Watch this. Who's that video? You're very credible to me. So, Time tells old things, bro. So, so, so moving along, I'm gonna say something to you. Excuse me, y'all. So, so, wait, what, so that was, so that was that. I never heard, I, I never saw nothing ever. And then somebody, uh, somebody told me that he said something about Alpo told him that I told Alpo uh, not to fuck with him. So I told Alpo not to fuck with him. So the only person could have told him that is Alpo. So Alpo told him, I said, don't fuck with him. He had like a thing. So he got mad, I guess, because I told Alpo, don't fuck with him. And he wondered, he said, because you were from Don Diva, and y'all don't, y'all never wrote about snitches. Y'all are on a real right. standard. Right. Y'all don't That's play right. with that. That's right. He was saying We that started this, the no snitching, the stop snitching movement. So we was, started that. So he was Not on purpose, like, it just kind of happened. Why would you want to interview Alpo? So. I never wanted to interview Alpo. Oh, okay. I I'm never sure. wanted to interview Alpo. I'm just yeah, I never wanted to interview Alpo. He wanted to interview Alpo. I was telling Alpo that uh, you're not going to get no uh, large sum of money uh, get, being interviewed by these people, bro. Like, he thought that there was still something that people were uh, unsure, unclear about in his story. I said, bro, most of them have been telling your story the whole time you've been gone, okay? If they don't know the story, and I know they don't know the story, they think they know the story, and that's all that matters. They think they know the story, right? You're not, no one's gonna give you, I told him this, no one's gonna give you $200,000 for an interview. He said, that's why I just wanna get like $200,000 for any one of these interviews or whatever, bro, and then I'm out, man. I'm out. And he wasn't talking about none of that shit about coming outside and hanging out, but I know him. I knew that's what he would do if he got some money. You don't think he got 200000 for, for it? Well, he ended up getting, oh my God. <laughs> He's gone, baby. <laughs> Give me, give me, give me, give us a, give us a big, give us a big first guy. He's big gone, baby. He, he, he ended up getting, he ended up getting uh, M. A million dollars from who? 
I would, think, I would think that he would. I don't know. Man. I don't know if she I if she wants. That's why I said he would. Yo, Ronito, I the big face Gary show. Cole, he got a million fucking. I think he would though. That's why them little gloves are with Alpo on him. The, the sister, the sister that gave it to him. I don't. I don't know that she would want that known because oh, okay. uh, I haven't. It's not like I heard it anywhere. So yeah, I don't know if she would want that known. I mean, not now. At some point, there's no getting around it. Right. You know what I mean? But, yeah, definitely. Right. Uh, you my man. <laughs> Moving along. How the fuck did you meet? How did you Luca, meet? Luca, holla at me, boy. You, I'm going to let you do all your shit after. <laughs>